We venture into the Mushroom Kingdom once again. What's inside the Morrow's Mystery Block for January 2019? Yes, what is inside the Mario's Mystery Block for January 2019? I could probably tell you it's Mario related. That's just a hunch. That's just an idea that I have in my mind. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. If you're a fan of Mario stuff yourself, like I am, you may want to subscribe to the Mario's Mystery Block based on pri primarily maybe even what you're going to be seeing inside this box. You're thinking to yourself, that's pretty cool stuff. That's what your future self will say because you haven't, of course, seen this just yet. I'm going to subscribe to the mystery box designated to the ever popular plumber. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and grab, uh, we're going to grab old red here and we're going to cut the seal just on the front, just like so. I didn't think it needed that much cutting. And we're going to go, go ahead and find out what we got inside the Mario's mystery block. For January 2019, got ourselves like a little label. Okay, we don't need that little packing slip. We'll just put that to the side. We've also got ourselves a little card. Share the mystery. This is actually, actually, <coughs> December, December 2018, Franchise Spectacular. To that, January 2019, Brothers in Arms. Is this a double dipping? A double packing? Record your unboxing or take pics. Tag your friends, family, and fellow gamers. Share using the hashtag Mario's My Mystery Block. I actually thought that said Mario's My Steery Block. That would be incorrect. There's the back of it, Mario's Mystery Block. We'll put that to the side. Immediately seeing something not quite Mario, but still pretty cool nonetheless, we've got ourselves Pikachu with his little hand up by his face, his little cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Now this is from this is from Pokemon, of course. Got to catch them all. But I guess in theory, really, if you think about it, Pikachu was also in Super Smash Brothers, so it is still somewhat connected to Mario. On the side, there is Pikachu. It's from Tommy. Oh, little little shy Pikachu. It's okay, buddy. We're gonna give you a good home. A nice soft, plushy Pikachu. The tail and both the hand and the tail are attached stitched to the head, I'm sure he didn't feel anything, to the head of Pikachu. That's pretty cool. It's not Mario related, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm willing to accept that because that is, after all, in the Smash Brothers game. Something more Mario related, perhaps. We've got ourselves the Super Mario. This is the Super Mario Backpack Buddies. Look out for the rare chase character. Who does this come by? Who does this come from? It says it's official Nintendo, but of course, oh, Paladone. Paladone is the one that makes this. Characters include, of course, one of these characters. You won't get all of them. Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Peach, Toad, Wario, Koopa Troopa, and Donkey Kong. Just between you and me. Just between you, me, the wall, and whatever is currently crawling in my ceiling here. Ooh. Uh, I personally would like to get Wario. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's open this up. Grab ourselves Wario. <laughs> it wouldn't be awesome if it. No, no, it's not Mark. It's not Wario. It is turn that frown upside down. That W now turns to an M. See what I did there? And that's Mario. Get him out of the plastic prison. You're free now, Mario. Go off. Tell the world your stories. That's a pretty neat looking Mario, you have to admit. It's been attached. The little uh, fastener has been drilled into poor Mario's hat. He's going to have to get himself another one. And of course, you got the little backpack hanger on the top. Hang that on your backpack. Hang that from the collar of your dog, your family dog. Although that probably will annoy him. And he's going to be like reaching his head, trying to bite that. He probably won't enjoy that. Maybe on second thought, don't hang that on your family dog's collar. A neat looking Mario though. Mamma mia. Also to go along with this, we've got ourselves, what is this? The Mario Sports Superstars Amiibo. Five Amiibo cards per pack. 90 different cards in all. There's what the cards, well that's not what, what the cards look like. Use these cards with Mario Sports Superstars and characters will become, power, will power up to become superstars. Let's see, how do we open this? How do we open this? Hey, how do we open this? 
let's maybe I just peel it. Is that does that seem right? I'm oh man, that's so many regrets. I'm filled with just so many regrets. I guess I didn't really need the packaging. We'll just put that right there. The inner foil packaging mirrors that right there of the larger cardboard packaging. And we open that as well. Oh, this one has a little perforation. Why am I doing all the work on that perforation, that little notch in the plastic? Oh, look, see, I've damaged this packaging as well. Where's my life going? What's going on here? We've got Peach. Uh, Peach is wearing a dress, not normally something she would be sporting. It's the pink gold peach. Let's see what's on the back there. Oh, this is what it looks like on the back. We've also got Birdo. That's what it looks like on the back. Waluigi! Two Waluigis, actually. And that's what it looks like on the back. And lastly, and certainly not leastly, we've got ourselves Mario. That's what it looks like on the back. Sorry, what? You, you want to see? Yeah, there you go. Take it all in. Got it? Get it? Got it? Good. All right. Uh, what else do we have in here? Animal Crossing cards. Six Amiibo cards per pack. Go ahead and get this opened up as well. Realizing, truthfully realizing, I don't really need the packaging. I'm, I'm going to recycle this. That's not going in the garbage, my friends. No way. Not on this guy's watch. It's going to go in... Oh! <laughs> It's not, I thought that was an animal watch, but Animal Crossing, not on my watch though. That's going into the recycling. Here, I'd like to promote heavily on this channel the idea that when you do open up your stuff, here comes the preaching. No, 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 we're not gonna be preaching, but when you do open up your stuff, make sure you throw the packaging in the proper places. And that's a whole lot of peas, but the point is still hopefully being made. Recycle when you can. A little bit of now you know. Do, 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 do. We got Goose. Goose. It's 10 of 4. Number 82, by the way. There's the, what the back of it looks like. I didn't mention this before with the Mario, but I do like the fact that there's that little silver, just kind of, it's like a little foil square. I don't know why I, my attention was so quickly focused to that. Got Cobb. It's number 74. Opal. It's number 51. Kiki! I love that. Would you say that's a dress? I guess it would be a dress. I initially guessed sweater, but you don't get a lot of sleeveless sweaters. The sweater vest. Does anybody still wear sweater vests? How old am I? Porsche, number 21. And look at this one. Digby. Digby's got this neat kind of, I don't know what you would call it. You can kind of see it's got this little glittery effect to it. Pretty schnazzy, if you ask me. Pretty schnazzy. Inside it as well, we've got ourselves a pin. A little Zelda pin right there. You can clip that onto, is it plastic? It does seem like it's metal. A rather nice looking pin. You can put that on your jacket. A jean jacket would be ideal for that. To go with, along with that, we have a little boo. A little tiny boo. This one is dated from 2017 from Paladone Products Limited. Uh, also, also inside, we've got a Zelda Traveler's Shield. Take that out of the foil so you guys can get a better look at it. Oh, it's separate from its chain. Let's see if I can connect the two. Complete at least this journey. It's not a very long journey, but we'll at least complete the journey. The quest to connect the shield to the chain. I dangle, I shake it, there we go. Connect the two, just like so. It's a more involved quest than I was expecting. I guess what was I expecting for a quest to connect, connect the two worlds together? I mean, that's a pretty involved quest. I know on paper it sounds like, oh, that's not too bad. Connect the two worlds together. I can do that. Can you though? That's a. I have to say that's a pretty involved quest. Needless to say, either way, there's the shield. Pretty shield. On the back, there's the Legend of Zelda Traveler's Shield. Nice little pin. 
Journey is connected, journey is complete. We move on to the next quest. While we're at it, actually, let's just grab the rest of the stuff that's in here. We've got ourselves the Legend of Zelda lo uh, logo, and I believe it's a sticker. I believe it is a sticker, a clear sticker, I'm liking the look of that. We've got a Legend of Zelda Link card. And I think there's more than one in there, so we'll investigate this a little bit further. Let's see what we got here. We got Link sporting some really neat swap out of colors. We're in a blue tunic. There's Mifa and Dark. That the quality of, of a card is really nice on this. Got a nice slick feel. You, being that we're not in 2275, where touch abilities are created for the internet. You have to just take my word for it that the cards are almost like a satiny, slick, smooth feel to it. That's a lot of S's. We've also got collector's ca uh, tags, Legend of Zelda collector tag plus decal and tattoo. This comes to us from Enterplay. Is there a notch on this? There is a notch on this. Certainly I've got a lot of stuff in this this box, this Mario box. Uh, for starters, it looks like we've got the little fairy inside the jar. Also looks like it has to be connected to the chain. Uh, we've got the fun tats. Those are pretty cool. And we also got ourselves a sticker, Legend of Zelda sticker. To go along with that, a brochure telling us exactly all the things that we could get inside. I'd love to get this old school Legend of Zelda link right there. Uh, there's the back of it. I believe we did also get, there we go, we've got that shield right there. Remember that one? We connected the worlds, it was right there. See, a little bit bigger. Same thing though, same shield, same shield. And we'll open up the second one. Where was the notch? There was a notch. We'll just rip it down the middle, right down the middle. Oh, speaking of classic Zelda, classic Link here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's a sticker right there. On the back, Queen Orin. Uh, we also have the Gorons of Snowhead. A really cool looking link. Mikau. A bomb. I like the way that that's been drawn. And Beetle. Substantially. Substantial is probably the best word to describe all the stuff that we got inside the brand new Mario's Mystery Block. Uh, this was allegedly, I guess they combined both of them. 2018, December's 2018, Franchise Spectacular. And then 2019, Brothers in Arms. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder how I'm going to put that all in the title. I'll figure out something. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the Mario's Mystery Block, I'll put the linkage information down below. And while we're also on the topic of linkage information, make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's just below this video, if you haven't done so already. More videos just like this. Okay, maybe not quite all like this, but videos similar to this will be coming soon to this channel. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button and you never miss out on future content coming to this channel in 2019. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. And I'll see you next time.